Hi and welcome to another session of accounting terms. We have already covered few terms in this series and the link of all those videos would be provided in the description box below. Or you can check our playlist accounting terms to see the terms that we have already covered in this series. Well, in this video we are covering a very important term and the term is trade receivables. The meaning explained here is as per the Cambridge curriculum. There is a slight difference in the meaning of this term in the CBSC board. So a separate video has been made for that and the link of that is provided in the description box below. So what do you mean by trade receivables or debtors? Let's understand this term with the help of an example. Let's take it this way that there is a seller and a buyer. The seller is a manufacturer of goods and the buyer is a retailer who has a shop and sells to the customers. Let's make this even more simple. Let the seller be in the business of baking and the buyer is a shopkeeper who buys from him these biscuits and cookies and sells it to the consumers. Let's call the seller A and the buyer B. So B places an order with A for a box of biscuits. B requests A to sell him the goods but he will be making the payment for these goods at a later date. A agrees to sell goods to B and sends the goods to him. So here B receives the goods but he would be making the payment after few days. So for A, B is a trade receivable. Or we can also say that B is a debtor for A and there is an obligation upon B to pay this money to A. And A has the right to receive that money from B. So trade receivable is the money due to a firm or an individual for goods or services delivered to them but not yet paid. We can also say that debtors or trade receivables represents the person, businesses, firms who have purchased goods on credit from us but have not yet paid the money for the goods sold to them. Trade receivables are an asset for the firm. The reason for this is that the business has the right to receive that money from the debtor and there is an obligation upon the buyer to pay that money to the business or the seller. Let's do a quick summary. Trade receivable or debtors are the person, firms or businesses who have purchased goods on credit from us but have not yet paid for the goods or inventory sold to them. I hope you've understood the concept. In case there is any question, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you found this video useful then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And do remember to press the bell button to stay notified about our future videos. Bye bye.